Hello everyone. I'm very pleased to be able to address this very exciting gathering, which unfortunately I was not able to attend, the WIP 2015 summit in Addis Ababa. This global movement, Women in Parliaments, has now been active for almost two years and it has already proven its value and gone far beyond my expectations at its outset. It was a great honor to be asked to be on the very first WIP advisory board and to be able to witness the immense amount of hard work that has been put into making WIP the success it already is. And all that work has been directed by Silvana Koch Merin, who has demonstrated remarkable leadership qualities organizing this uh, comprehensive project. The WIP events and projects have been extremely varied and interesting. And in this relatively short time, this work has brought together women from all over the world to discuss gender issues on a, a global scale and increase women's opportunities to shape the world we live in. I also appreciate the fact that the WIP events have taken place in different countries and continents. This has enabled delegates to see for themselves how women live in other parts of the world. Not only does this make WIP's work more diverse, but also gives delegates new perspectives on various problems that stand in the way of gender equality and uh, enables them to evaluate different means and methods that uh, have been used to increase women's influence in societies around the world. In April last year, WIP organized an extremely successful event in my native country, Iceland, in cooperation with the Icelandic Parliament, our uh, Parliament's history is over 1,000 years old, but uh, this was the first time that the Parliament's uh, chamber had been the venue for women-only uh, meeting. And the WIP event in Iceland also includes visits to businesses and institutions run by women who are prominent in our society. Icelandic women were uh, very pleased that WIP chose our country as the first destination for a WIP special meeting. Iceland has been at the top of the World Economic Forum's Gender Gap Index for six consecutive years. That list is put together by considering issues like political participation, economic equality and access to education and health care. New leadership for global challenges is the theme of the WIP Annual Summit 2015 in Addis Ababa. This is an enormously important topic. It is a key issue in getting more women into positions of power in the world and in tackling all kinds of misery around the world. Violence, poverty, inequality and war. In Iceland, a woman became a Prime Minister for the first time in 2009. And then, also for the first time, there was gender equality in the government, the same number of female and male ministers. And uh, this happened after Iceland had suffered such a major economic crisis that the country almost became bankrupt. Under my leadership, 
as prime minister. We managed to avoid that and uh, the rebuilding of Icelandic society was successful. We managed to save a huge number of families and businesses from uh, bankruptcy. I wish you all the very best and hope that during this annual summit you will discuss new and successful ways to increase women's influence all over the globe, because that will result in changes and progress that will change life on earth and make it better and more just for everyone.